So check this out. I was grabbing my camera to film this bird's nest on the top of the box of my van. I just drove the van yesterday. This was not there and it laid an egg today. It's been doing a lot of hard work. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that. But while I was grabbing the camera, Steve with Nomad RV stopped by. Oh, hey Patrick. He wants to show us this new oh. van that he just built. I love the color, the iridium silver. Yep, this is iridium silver metallic. This is a brand new 2023 all wheel drive. It is basically maxed out option wise for 10 and a quarter screen, factory swivels, 360 camera, navigation, you know, leatherette seats, the options go on and on for this van. Uh, we did leave factory uh, rims and tires for that. Reason is it's so custom what people want as far as what all terrains or what rims they want. So we'll let that up to the customer for the future for them. We did add some triple R LEDs in the grill, super sleek, nice European look. They're on ignition kill switch, so if the van's off, those do not work, so you don't drain your battery. When you come around to the side, you've got a nice aluminum, um, big steps. It's also on the driver's side. Again, we mentioned factory swivels. You got the Lagoon table mount that can be used in both those seats. This seat can move forward enough for the extension table if you want to use that there and if you weren't using it for the kitchen. This obviously can be used also for the bench seat. Above the seats here, you got a Van Wife Components headliner shelf, has a curtain rod. This van's coming with blackout and um, insulated shades for all windows, including the Max Air fan. But if you're at a quick stop and you just want to sleep over real quick, throw a little curtain up there, sleep in the truck stop and move on while you're moving. In this bench here is also a seat belt, sideways seating. This is a Seats 3, Sleeps 3. And underneath here, you got yourself a nice shower. That is a three inch memory foam, umbrella cushion, super comfortable. Got yourself a little lock there to hold that up. That's gonna be your cassette toilet area. You got stainless um, hardware for all your shower and your wands. Underneath the shower is a 20 gallon gray tank specific for this area. And then your curtain lives under here too. That's gonna get clipped on all these stainless clips that are around the ceiling. Super easy. As we move back behind that, you've got a 110 liter refrigerator, the Medic, stainless, opens the correct way. Little freezer in that spot too. You got your contour microwave, great for heating things back up. Passenger spot back here, it's got its own little USB spot where you can use it while you're camped. You got your ceiling lights on dimmers like always. You got here a GFI 110 outlet for anything you put on this countertop. This is beautiful acacia butcher block, awesome colors. You have an SPAR S2 D2 heater controller, and then this thing is sweet. You got your Victron. So we did a Serbo GX. You can actually go on your uh, internet, connect to this, and see if anywhere in the world you can see what's happening to your van while you're not around it. This has um, everything you want to see on it. There's tons of different screens to look at. You got your fresh and gray water tanks too. You can see everything that's going on if you're plugged in, if the solar is bringing stuff in. End of the day here, putting in two amps for no reason because the sun's almost lower than the van. I don't even know how we're cool putting two amps in. Massive queen bed in this little van here. You got a step to get up to it as it's so high. We'll show you why in the garage later. You're going to sleep with your head on the passenger side in this one. You got LED lights here. They also have USB ports on both of them. You just touch from a button, turn right on. And they just touch them to turn them off, and that's blue little night lights. You got your bump outs here, they're the pods, they're insulated. Backland Expedition Gear from Canada, the ones we always use because they're insulated, we love them. You got plenty of roof locker storage above. You've got about five feet worth actually. Your bed, as always from us, always on slats. You don't want anything molding. Down below, we mentioned again, a way to get in, nice step up. On the way ground there's your heater. Um, port. There's also one on the garage side which we'll show you too. We're going to work our way down the kitchen and we'll explain more what's, what's happening everywhere else too. So you got your water pump, your water heater, and then of course your um, your dump valve for your great tank. The wood here is 12 volt. We'll show you that in the back. Again more USB ports because who doesn't want to charge everything they got. Stainless steel sink, stainless steel um, faucet can swivel outside for you. The whole piece swivels, everything moves, tons of stuff to do. You got a five gallon gray tank here for the sink specifically. 
plenty of storage underneath for your induction cooktop, which will how you get a cook in here. You have a water filter, and then you got big deep drawers that open up farther than that. My fat ass is in the way. But plenty of storage in there too. Now to talk more about what's happening in this van, we got a beautiful stained pine ceiling. Nice, you know, rustic look. There's thin slate in there. There's thin slate in the walls, double layer in the walls, half inch poly ISO on the floor, three quarter inch plywood. Then we got our waterproof vinyl flooring, like always from us. Super, super well climate control in here, whether the air's running, which is back below the bed. That is a 12 volt Dometic RTX 2000. That's gonna pull around 20 amps in eco, 45 um, in auto, depending on how you're set up, you know, where you are, you'll justify how you're gonna let that run for you. Um, dimmable lights everywhere, it's eight. They're all on the same circuit. Then you got your max air fan. It's behind this nice magnetic cover. You know, that's gonna pull in or out, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna walk you around the side. You got your AM auto window, the slider. That slider lines up to the um, faucet actually, so you can open it up, open up the screen, and still get water outside if you so wanted to. Up above, you have your Fiamma awning. There's a manual awning. No issues with that ever, the thing is awesome. On the back doors, we've got a bunch going on. This is your Alvan Sherpa. We left enough space here for a roto packs or two if you want to put them up there for extra fuel or water, whatever you want. This is a massive 30 inch lockable box. It does have a shelf. We didn't put it in, whoever ends up buying this van, if they want it in, we'll put it in and they'll let us know where and we'll get that in for them. You got your Flatline Vanco tire carrier. Hitch from the factory, it's great stuff. This van we got with all the factory plastics for a super finished look. We can start on the passenger side. Outdoor shower, both hot and cold water. Gravity fill, this is where we have the outdoor shower faucet part for it. We decided to put storage in here. The light's currently on, the light switch is on the other side. Here you can see how much water you have. You also have all your valves for winterization, three-way valves, everything you switch. And then again, storage, um, about three feet of storage, top to bottom in here. It's all solid wood, you connect anything you want. You can pack a lot of stuff in there, it's out of the way. In here, the main garage area, still plenty of space for storage. You can fit actually two mountain bikes. There's 36 inches clear and about 28 inches wide. You'll see in the back, that's our other um, exit for the heat. That way you get a heated bed, heated garage, go snowboarding, go skiing, and throw all your stuff in there. You're gonna run your heat, dry it all out, it's great. You got your nice LED light, simple on and off. On every side here, this is all access to all your switches and fuses and anything, all access ports. We always do all these screws behind here. Anything goes wrong and need full access, panels pop off completely full access. As you can see here, vent for everything. This is your gray water heater pad. These are the switches we mentioned for inside the holes. And then this is your, another way to monitor everything too. You can see your gray, your gray tank, your fresh tank, your battery percentage, everything you see going on back here. If you had that packed, you couldn't see that tank. You can still read as you fill. In front you can read multiple options for you. Again, waterproof um, flooring and all that stuff. You got your Fiamma um, awning piece. You got 600 amp hours lithium power. You have um, solar controller and all Victron components, Victron 123000 inverter. Um, you guys should take a peek. Everything's all nicely laid out there. 60 amp DC to DC charger. When you took a peek before, we didn't mention it on the passenger side. That's where your two and a half gallon 12 volt hot water heater is. And again, all your sea full pumps and all that stuff is all in there too. On the roof, holding up that awning is the Flatline Vanco roof rack. There's a little bit extra space up there, but there is 350 watts of solar up there. There is some storage around that you can fit additional stuff if need be. As we work our way around, because we made this van both off-grid and be able to be used in a campground, you got your shore power hookup, you got a city water hookup, and then again, if off-grid, there's an additional solar hookup. You can do up to another 400 um, watts of, you know, fold wool uh, solar. Now you can see in the outside here, backland expedition gear. There's, there's a three-quarter inch insulation inside here. The only pods that are insulated, awesome stuff. We always get them the Indy, Indy liner. It's what they call it, their bed liner. Stuff super durable. I mean, this stuff it doesn't even move. It's rock solid. It's awesome. Great stuff. You got your flatline Vanco ladder. 
That's basically to allow you to clean your solar panels every so often so you don't have to carry an additional ladder. Plus it just looks cool. Underneath here is your gray tank. There is a responsible way to hook up a hose to it and dump it the right way because even though it's super clean water, gray tank's technically illegal. And then again, your step. That's pretty much it. I know we've run through it super fast. Any questions, you're going to reach out to me, nomadrvs.com, Instagram, nomad underscore RVs, or just call us, 908-415-5080. Again, when you see this, it's going to be for sale. They're, we haven't fully put it out there, but there are already some people knocking on the doors asking about it. But Patrick's going to do us a huge favor and push this out right away, like, you know, right after we start talking, maybe a little later than that. And, uh, you know, get it out to the public for you guys. I'll do my very best to get it online and I'll make sure I link to your social and put a price in the ad too. Yeah, yeah, this one, you know, the time of this viewing, we're listing at 159. You know, with everything that's included in this. And what other projects you have going on at the new shop? So we have an all-wheel drive 170 that we're gonna start. That one's actually gonna be for sale too. And then we have plenty of customer vans. Currently, right now, to start another project, you're looking probably end of August, you know, to date of this, you know, at launch of this video, let's say. You know, there's our few potential clients talking to us, but without deposits, no one's on the list yet. Is that crazy with this bird nest over here? Yeah, this thing's wild. Hold on, let's see right if before it's back. You, right before Look. you click play, all right, it's back. I almost fell over, you scared me. I don't know what to do. I mean, I, I gotta drive the van. I'm going away this weekend. <laughs> well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks, Patrick.